Okay, I've got this cheap little uh, combination padlock I picked up off uh, AliExpress. Um, also picked up some cheap distortainer tools, which are so bad they don't even work out of the packet. You can, uh, maybe it's like it goes a little bit and then it kind of gets stuck. The uh, shaft of this, I'm pretty sure, is not even straight. Pretty sure it bends. Um, and it didn't fit in any locks, uh, and I had to file it down. Anyway, it's not about that. It's about this. So it's got this little thing at the bottom. Uh, if you hold that in, and then all of these are a binary state, either on or off. So I had manipulated this once, but if you just like hold that across and then sort of move each one, it's a bit awkward to hold on to. Um, some of them are like a bit stiffer, so like that one, nine. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Zero doesn't want to go down at all, so it can stay up. Eight seems to want to stay that way. Seven doesn't want to go down. Six went down easily doesn't want to come back up. So I think that's six, eight, nine on that side. One doesn't really want to go down. Two, went in all right. Three, not much there. Four. Five. Hard to tell. Let's just go back up the row. One. Maybe one is the number. Two. All right. I think three is not. Yeah, two's definitely a number. One's definitely a number. Three's not. Four's not. No, five's not. Right. Oh, got it open already. Um, Checkle didn't pop. So there's our number. One, two, six, eight, nine. Um, yeah, you can sort of feel, especially once you start getting them a couple of numbers in the right spots, it becomes a lot more clear. That first number is not really obvious, but there's not that many sides or that many numbers. So, and it seems to isolate side to side. So this side of the mechanism and there's that side. Um, part of me is tempted to crack this thing open and see what's inside, but I'm pretty sure that once I do that, we'll never get it back together again. But, oh, will we do it? It wasn't expensive. Okay, so I have ripped the front cover off and uh, put the shackle out and the shackle spring. So um, here's how this works. So the shackle normally sits in here. Uh, if it's locked, sit like that. And the spring sits just in this gap here. And um, it always is applying a small push up force. Um, so what it's trying to do is pull on this little nub here on this code bar. Um, so if that code bar has been released, this pulls it across and like unlatches it, and it will try and pull forwards. Um, but if these are not lined up properly, it cannot go anywhere. If we just push all of these up, you can see looking down there, if I try and pull on it, that there's like little, like walls in between, a little, little jut comes out. So these need to be lined up like, so, um, such that the way that gate goes will allow it to go through. On the other side, let's get them lined up as well. Um, I think that's right. Get them all correct. Nope, one of them's still wrong. Which one's wrong? Not that one, not that one. Ah, that one has to be up. And boom, open. 
uh, obviously they're all getting pulled all over the joint because the cover's not on properly. Um, so when it's lined up, the, um, the gate can pass through them. So we can see here on like this one, how, see when that's in the up position, it's got this little like, this sort of like wall there, that lip, and then it's got a wider section at the bottom that allows it to go through. So if we reset that back down, um, if we push the one up next to it, you can see that's got nothing. And in fact, oh, we can just pull one all the way out. Yeah, great. So here's the slider. Um, so yeah, true gate, not not gate. And that's its entire room of uh, travel. And then these little serrations here are just for that spring so it like snaps into place nicely. So if we compare that to the one next to it, this is the opposite. So that has the uh, true gate, or the only gate at the bottom, and then the not a gate, the top, and then the serrations on the back. So that's how it works. It's all just either one or the other of those. Um, and if you wanted, you could pull these out and put them in a new order and have whatever combination you want. Of course, to do that, you've got to completely destroy the lock. So, um, but that's how the factory would decide the com combination, just randomly stick in a bunch of these. Um, so you might have gotten better feedback if I'd have really pulled on the shackle uh, instead of just pushing on this. You sort of get enough feedback anyway with just the spring, but I think pulling on it would have probably amplified that some more. Though when I was first playing with it, it didn't seem to help, but don't know. So there we go. That's this thing.